This is how to crochet an egg part seven. I am adding another row of increases. So I'm going to put two stitches into the first stitch and then I'm going to put one regular stitch into the following three stitches. So again, that sequence is an increase followed by a single crochet into three stitches. I'm trying to incorporate a little bit of crochet terminology because I've been trying to figure out how to make a video about how to read a pattern. Because when I was teaching in class and people wanted to learn how to read a pattern, I would always ask them what was confusing and every single person had a different part that was confusing. But 90% of the time, it was just the intimidation factor. I think people are genuinely intimidated by patterns because they use acronyms and all this crazy terminology and if you don't get it, it makes you feel stupid and nobody wants to feel stupid. So I think a way that I can help with that maybe is by saying the terminology that is used in a pattern so that when you come across a pattern, you can just read the acronyms out loud, read it however it says it, and then maybe it'll sound like something you've heard me say and you can place it with something that I did in a video. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but I think it's worth a shot. I'll go ahead and put part eight in the comments. And if you like these kind of close-up stitch tutorials, be sure to like and follow. I post them every single day. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments of any of my videos. See you there.